this engineer Takio and welcome to Engineer Takio's tutorial. In this episode, this is part 2 of the short circuit calculation using per unit method. <clears throat> In this video, we're going to calculate all the data that was given to us, uh, that was given in uh, our example single line diagram. Okay, uh, after getting all the, info, the data on the single line diagram, let us try to calculate using the formula that was given in part 1 of the uh, in this video of short circuit calculation. Okay, so let us uh, uh, use the MBA base of 100 and the KB base of 34.5 KB. Right, <clears throat> so uh, the given MBA, uh, MBA short circuit of the utility is given at least 800 MBA and then. Uh, so we calculate the zip uh, per unit impedance uh, using MBA base over the uh, MBA short circuit. Okay, given uh, our MBA base at 100 and 800 as our uh, MBA short circuit, we get this uh, value. Okay, 100 over uh, 800. Then, uh, that's for our utility. Now for our cable here, this part the XLP, uh, we are given the distance of 50 meters, then the diameter is uh, 50 mm squared, and then we have three core, and it is copper and buried. Okay, so uh, after getting this, we came out with the data of the resistance at 0.494 uh, ohm per kilometer and impedance of 0.075 ohm per kilometer. So we get this the uh, resistance per unit, uh, length times the resistance given, times the MVA base over the KVA base squared. And we get this value. Okay. So our R here, that one, and then our length is 50. Okay, in the same manner, our uh, reactance per unit, we have the length 50 times this value here. Then MBA base over KBA base, uh, K, uh, the voltage squared, and we get this value. Okay, then that's for our, and so after getting that, we get the impedance as per unit using this, this level of this uh, two, and we get this value. 0 0.002. Okay, that's for our cable number one here, the XLP. So then we get our impedance for the transformer, which is given at percent point seven uh, percent impedance at five seven five. So that's gonna be 0 0.0575. All right. So then our bus stop here, which is our cable number two. Cable number two, after getting all the information, which is uh, given the length as 20 meters, then the rating at 2500 ampere, uh, it was given the resistance at 0 0.017 milliohm per meter and the impedance, uh, the reactance at 0 0.010 milliohm per meter. Okay, so okay, ang, ang bus duct is uh, considered zero uh, impedance. So, then we the calculation. Uh, resistance per unit, 0 0.07, 0 0.017 times the 20 meters, uh, times 10 to the negative 3, 28, uh, 100, our base, 34.5. Our result is 28.575 times 10 to the negative 6 ohms. Napakaliit. Uh, in the same manner, sa ating XPO, X per unit, we substitute lang natin dyan, and the resultant is like this. 16.80 times 10 to the negative 6. Kukunin natin yung impedance, ito na ang kalalabasan. 0 0.00033 times 10. Uh, oh, that's gonna be 28.57, sorry, 28.57, Exponent 6 negative uh, squared plus 16.8 exponent 6 negative squared squared. 
So that's going to be 33 times 10 to the negative 6 ohms. I oh, know. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Sorry, sorry. Okay, 0. 0. 0. 0.00033 ohms. Okay, so this is our C2. Then we calculate our motor M1. So motor M1 has been given yung 100 horsepower, then power factor of 0.8. Now upon getting the uh, subtransient impedance uh, from the table, from the standard, kita natin, assume natin at 16.7, then even at uh, x over r is 10. So, i-substitute lang natin sa formula dito. Okay? And then, ang kalalabas na natin is this one. Uh, 16.7 divided by 100 times MBA base, which is 100 divided by KBA motor. So, our calculation is to get the KBA of the motor here. Uh, given tayo yung power factor of 0.8, which results to 59.68. Okay? Then... We result in this uh, value, uh, 279.83, right? The resistance per unit is also X prime D over XR is 1.67. Now, itong panel uh, considered as tinatawag siyang lump load, okay? So, kukuni lang natin kung ilang percent ang motor of, for this uh, panel. So, it was given na uh, ang QA ng motor or percent motor on this panel load is 80%. So if this is the total load for this panel, we get the KVA motor at uh, 1200 uh, uh, KVA. Right? Then substitute lang natin dito sa formula natin here. XPU and RPU for our lump load. We calculate natin yan. Ang result ng natin XPU is 13.92. And so our XPU is 1.67. Then so we get the impedance of that is 13.92 squared plus uh, 1.67 squared. Well, it's square root. This is around the impedance here is around per unit uh, 14.02. Okay, so. Uh, what does this mean all about? Uh, after getting all the data or the information sa ating single line diagram, then we use this formula, it's a substitute lang natin, then we get all our uh, per unit impedance. Ito kailangan natin per unit impedance. Here, here, and our per unit here. Okay? Then we, we do the uh, impedance diagram pagkatapos matuha natin yung mga uh, data na yan or uh, calculated values na yan. So then after that, we do the impedance analysis sa uh, ating impedance, our analysis sa ating impedance diagram. Then uh, we get to calculate the I-short circuit which is I-short circuit is uh, the QVA over the square root of 3 times uh, the QBA uh, and sorry uh, AB times the equivalent impedance okay so our goal is to get the equivalent impedance at a certain or at a certain point let's say konin natin uh, the short circuit or the fault at this level here at this point or we say let's get the fault here ang problem ay natin is to get the equivalent impedance at this point na pagpukuha na natin ang fault location or fault data okay so uh, I hope may nakuha kayo sa video na ito and if you like this video and you can share it uh, you can follow my youtube channel engineer takio and follow me on Facebook, uh, Engineer Tapio Tutorial. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching.